Um, so uh, those are the things that uh, actually, if you're if 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 the Dexcom does not get us uh, give you as give your tandem pump a signal for 20 minutes or more, uh, which can happen sometimes after shower. Some people say that you know the water gets in there. There's some little bit of a signal loss. Uh, you may be uh, kicked out, but. Uh, from my experience, you know, it is uh, it is not uh, that easy to be kicked out as Medtronic. So I think Tandem has advantage uh, here in terms of getting kicked out. So guys, as a result, if you're sick and your body is telling you that your blood sugars are running high, your pump and CGM is not able to keep up with you, I would suggest to turn the control IQ off or um, the auto mode off in the Medtronic and do it yourself because these pumps are not design, designed for bad days, the cl closed loop systems are designed when you're relatively stable on a day-to-day -day basis. But if you're sick, that your ketones are high, don't expect the pump to take care of you. That is not designed for that purpose. There's an important clinical pearl for you. If you're sick, call your endocrinologist, call your diabetes specialist, call your diabetes educator, get help before you end up in the hospital. So now we are going to talk about a different feature which uh, again, uh, educational parts out of all these differences. What is important for you? Doesn't matter you're on a Medtronic pump or a tandem pump. There are certain things that you always have to do. So if you're on, or if you're on a uh, Medtronic pump, here are some educational points for you. Now, if you're treating hypoglycemia, try to treat your, I mean, low blood sugars when I say hypoglycemia, try to treat these low blood sugars with uh, more caution. Uh, since your insulin pump is going to reduce your basal insulin, just try to eat a less of a carb. Like if you're eating 20, 30 grams of carbs normally to fix it, just eat 10 to 15 grams. It's just gonna be a lot easier to correct those uh, relatively mild low blood sugars. Um, on the other hand, uh, with the uh, that's true for both Medtronic and the Tandem, but for Medtronic, uh, it is also very important to enter your blood sugar calibrations, uh, or when it says blood sugar required or BG required. Uh, not every time the pump asks you uh, BG required doesn't mean that you have to calibrate uh, the sensor, so it is just sometimes a requirement that the pump company came up with for the safety uh, feature. So if you do not enter the BG, you're just not gonna be able to stay in the auto mode. And once you're in the outside auto mode, you're not as safe in terms of keeping your blood sugars under control. Um, and you guys really should also remember that you cannot really put a temporary basal. So when you're in the auto mode, the pump is in charge. You cannot really modify much of anything. You can always, for both pumps, you always have to enter your uh, carbs so you can get a bolus. Again, you know, uh, uh, th this feature is valid. It has to be done for both pumps. Uh, but if you want to do a dual bolus or a square wave bolus, uh, that is not going to be possible when you're in the auto mode. So if you're going to go partying, if you're going to do something crazy, uh, just probably just I'll tell you, just get out of auto mode, do your own thing with, uh, with the personal settings, and uh, hopefully you know how to handle different situations. Um, but uh, in crazy situations like that, like in a sickness or, or in a super crazy vacation or something like that, um, you may not be able to rely on your pump. So, uh, you know, let's say you're in a party, you're not going to be able to do a dual wave or a square wave. Um, but if you're not in the auto mode, you should be able to do that. And you can adjust your basal rates um, when you're not um, uh, in a regular situation uh, let's say you go out on a vacation where you're super physically active you may just want to reduce your basal dose quite a bit uh, in consultation with your diabetes specialist or endocrinologist on the other hand with the uh, with the tandem there are a couple things that are different in from an educational standpoint uh, when you have tandem, you can actually do an extended bolus, uh, but that's only up to two hours, so be mindful of that. Uh, it's still possible, but it is not uh, as free. Uh, on the other hand, with the, um, uh, with the uh, tandem insulin pumps, uh, you should not be overriding your uh, boluses, because remember, tandem insulin pump will give you a bolus already. If you are more than 100, and, if you are going to hit 180, if it is predicted to be 180, you will get a 60% of calculated bolus. Uh, so if you are trying to uh, overdo it, um, it may cause a stacking, and that may not be uh, to your best advantage.
and on the other hand uh, the um, uh, the um, uh, the uh, the pump parameters can be adjusted with uh, the tandem pump so if you need to adjust your insulin carb uh, settings you can do that uh, but sensitivity uh, uh, in terms of the active insulin time, I'm sorry, in terms of the active insulin time, uh, you're basically stuck with the pipe hours. So if you need to make an adjustment there, uh, you should in consultation with your endocrinologist. Again, giving a bolus is a requirement without overdoing. Again, treating low blood sugar with tandem also, uh, you'd have to be less aggressive um, and just uh, keep those all in mind. Also remember with the uh, tandem insulin pump, if you're exercising, you can put it in exercise mode or if you're on a vacation where you are actually physically much more active, then you can uh, set your exercise mode uh, frequently. Um, and uh, the, the sleep mode also uh, can help you uh, to keep a tighter blood sugar control uh, and wake up with a nicer blood sugar, guys. Lastly, let's talk about the, the sensor differences. So, um, that is important because Dexcom is, is really a good sensor. Uh, it, it allows you to make clinical decisions. Uh, so you can basically go with the numbers of the Dexcom. The only time the guys you don't really follow the Dexcom uh, is uh, if you feel different. If you feel low but the Dexcom is saying that oh, you're 100. You know, uh, these, these devices are not perfect. They're getting there close to be perfect. but. Um, Again, if you feel like different than what the pump is telling you, I mean the uh, the Dexcom is telling you, then you should definitely do a finger stick check. Um, Dexcom will allow you to do calibrations if you want to improve the sensitivity factor. If you just started the um, the Dexcom, you might, you may want to give a couple hours for for it to warm up. So uh, in the first couple hours of starting your sensor, you also need to do a finger stick if you need to check your blood sugars during the warm up period. Um, Again, uh, the Dexcom uh, can remotely be monitored. It's, it's usable for both Android and um, um, the, uh, the iPhone uh, on the cell phone. Um, the Guardian, uh, the, the sensor for the Medtronic, unfortunately cannot be used on, a, uh, on an Android right now, so you have to have an iPhone. But if you have a pump which uses the closed loop system, then you actually see the blood sugar number with a shield sign uh, on uh, the pump, so you don't necessarily have to use actually a phone. Uh, the, on the other hand, for a uh, Guardian sensor to keep going and to help with the, with the closed loop systems, uh, you have to do two to four calibrations at least a day. And you cannot really make clinical decisions in terms of your calculating your, um, your, uh, 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 your correction uh, insulin. Uh, you have to do a finger stick and enter to the pump in order to get a correction insulin. So you cannot just take the sensor value uh, and put in the pump and, and, and then just use that. The pump will not just allow you to do that. And if you do not do that, then you will be kicked out of the, uh, the auto mode. So it's very important to do your calibrations to uh, stay in the auto mode. For Medtronic, if you stay in the auto mode 80-90% of the time, you will be very, very successful. Uh, it just takes a little bit more effort. Um, and uh, we just talk about differences. So it is up to you how you want to uh, proceed between the different two pumps uh, with a tandem. Uh, I like Dexcom as a sensor a little bit more. Um, bottom line though, uh, it's not always the uh, the car, it's uh, most of the time as a driver. So as a patient, uh, you are in the driver's seat and you are operating these pumps. Um, so if you are not uh, very adherent or, or motivated to get things done and keep your sugar under control, uh, these pumps are not uh, really miraculous, uh, so it's not going to really help you much. It helps mostly to motivated individuals. On the other hand, I will also applaud uh, uh, Medtronic for their clinical support team. Uh, their educators, their nurses uh, are very supportive. They are very available. Uh, so uh, as a result, uh, Medtronic wins the, uh, the clinical part of it. Um, and Tandem and the Dexcom, they're great companies technologically. Uh, they have a few features that I like more than Medtronic. Uh, but when it comes to the clinical service, uh, providing educators, uh, being very helpful on the phone, etc., uh, I think uh, they have a long way to go. Uh, they are newer companies. Um, they are doing great things for the patients. But again, I think 
uh, in, in my practice, what I typically end up doing is um, if they're asking my opinion uh, between the two pumps, if, if, if you're a young individual, tech savvy, you don't really need a lot of support from the educators or uh, from the technical people, uh, then I think you're good to go with uh, Tandem and, and Dexcom. Um, and there are a lot of, I have a lot of uh, elderly patients who are really good technologically, but uh, overall speaking, uh, my older patients tend to need more help with the education, understanding the carbohydrate counting, how the pumps work, you know, and the technical parts. And uh, I'm glad that the Medtronic nurses are uh, really helpful. They are very genuine and sincere, help patients uh, all the time, uh, uh, anytime we need them. Uh, so for those patients, I tell them, hey, you know, you may have to do a few more finger sticks, but I think it's worth it because you have a great educator and you have to really understand that you need a lot of support. Uh, somebody who is 25 year old, um, they um, just don't want to um, uh, deal with the finger sticks, they're too busy, uh, and they just uh, know how to download things on the computer, and they can set things up themselves te uh, technically, and they're quick learners in terms of how to operate a machine and how to count carbs. Uh, for those patients, I think, uh, in my practice, I prefer uh, Tandem and Dexcom combination. Uh, another important uh, fact that, guys, uh, you, we are live, live in a real world, uh, the, the, the Tandem uh, and Dexcom together is, is right now uh, covered by Medicare. Uh, Medtronic, on the other hand, uh, could not get their sensor covered by Medicare. So if you're a Medicare patient, you're not gonna be able to get that closed loop system, at least for, for a while. Uh, and they're working to get their system going. They're coming with a new sensor uh, that will uh, not require finger sticks or maybe require just uh, one or two finger sticks at the beginning and nothing after. Um, and they're getting there. Um, so the competition is good. Um, but as I said, guys, if, if you are as of February, uh, we are actually in March now, uh, as of March 2020, uh, Medtronic and Dexcom together uh, will be more um, covered by Medicare uh, versus Medtronic uh, not as, as of this time. So if you have any questions, guys, if you want to be seen by us remotely, again, uh, we are not a typical uh, diabetes practice. We uh, basically uh, see patients remotely. So we can see your Dexcom data remotely. We can see your pump data remotely. Uh, we can help you 24-7. Uh, every week, you can uh, send us your data. We can sit down and review your data, make some adjustments, and get you uh, 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 to become a perfect diabetic patient. Um, and if you control your diabetes, guess what? You're not going to suffer from the consequences or complications of diabetes. So again, I'm Dr. Ergen. I'm an endocrinologist from SugarMDs.com. If you have any questions, concerns, uh, please let us know. You can email me at ahmet at uh, sugarmds.com um, or you can just call us, text, text us at 1-800-644-3963. I hope that helped you and have a wonderful day.